There's new hope for autism patients, up next on Comcast Newsmakers. Bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our show. According to the Autism Society of America, 1 to 1.5 million Americans have autism. Here to discuss a therapy that's giving patients positive results is this hour's newsmaker, Hope Fine, clinical director at the South Florida Center for HOPE Hope. And welcome to our show. It's good to have you here. Nice to be here. Now, now this is a brand new type of approach towards autism, and it, it involves hyperbaric oxygenation. Correct. Tell us what that's all about. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is 100% oxygen under pressure. The child goes into a cylindrical um, uh, chamber, mm -hmm. and while they're in there, they're watching television, they're playing, they absolutely love it. We call it the rocket. Mm -hmm. And they come running in and Usually the first treatment, the parent is very apprehensive. My, I don't think my child's going to go in there. And they go in there, and they love it, and the parent is amazed. And while they're in there, they're breathing 100% oxygen. Why is this making a difference in autism? The studies are showing that these children have chronic inflammation of the brain. So oxygen is not getting to areas of the brain that control the socialization, the mm -hmm. behavior, the communication. So while they're under the 100% oxygen and they're in the pressure in the chamber, mm -hmm. um, the oxygen is getting to those areas. Yeah, we, we have an example on the screen right now of one of the patients going in there. Uh, the results have been very positive, I guess. Unbelievable. Really? Yes. Has this changed the way people are looking at treating autism? Well, it is. It is one treatment for autism. You know, it's a it's a multifactional um, disease. You need to. They still need to have behavior therapy. They still may need some occupational therapy. They may need a special diet. But this is a part of the puzzle, and it's the biggest part of the puzzle. This makes everything come together. What happens to the brain uh, that really uh, benefits them when they go into this oxygenation chamber? Well, the oxygen decreases the inflammation so that it allows the blood flow to get to those depressed areas. Hmm. And, and, and you see results on an ongoing basis. Uh, you, how long do they stay into this chamber, by the way? They're in there about an hour and 15 <clears throat> minutes. Really? And yes. how many times a week? Five days a week. Five days a week? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it, it, is this something they have to do on an ongoing basis for the rest of their lives? Well, the standard protocol is 40 treatments. So they usually come for 40 treatments Monday through Friday, and then they'll come back you know, a couple times a year for a couple of boosters. But it stays. It, it stays? It stays. Yeah. Uh, I, I suppose this has really kind of radically changed people's ideas on how to treat autism in the future. Well, I, I would hope so. Um, unfortunately, uh, most insurance companies don't cover it at this point. Why not? Some of them do, and we are trying our best, and we're, we've been pretty successful in getting insurance to pay for it. But um, their excuse is that there haven't been enough studies to support the evidence, even though there have been over 30,000 studies. Mm -hmm. And you, you've seen marked improvements. I've seen marked improvements. And I do very little as far as advertising. When I have a parent call me, I tell them, don't talk to me. Just sit in my lobby and talk to the other parents. And they are my best advertising. It, it, physiologically, you've seen changes. Behaviorally, you've seen changes. What, what uh, behavior does the child display after these treatments? Well, most of these children have no eye contact. They will start to have eye contact. Many of them come to me, they don't speak. They'll start to speak. We had one little boy who came who didn't speak a word, and after his series of treatments, he started to speak. He came back six months later. He doesn't shut up now. I mean, he just spouts. So you see life-changing Life, life changes. These children, most of them, don't, they don't like to be touched. They're not emotional. They're not affectionate. They become affectionate. You can uh, take them into church, into an environment. They're not afraid. They'll sit quietly. Their teachers see a dramatic difference with them as well. It's kind of almost a, the silver bullet, I guess, everybody was looking for. Well, I, I think so, yeah. Part of the puzzle. Yeah, it's a big right. part of the puzzle. Thanks very much. This hour's newsmaker has been Hope Fine discussing hyperbaric oxygen therapy for autism patients. I'm Spiro Canton. Thank you for joining us.